Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll explore Fruity Granulizer. Fruity Granulizer is a powerful granular sampler plugin that can perform a variety of tried and true sounds, but also has a vast number of experimental uses too. In essence, Fruity Granulizer uses an audio file you load into it and plays back very small slices known as grains. It can then sweep the grain position or playback position, if you will, back and forth through the sample. The display shows the grain start position for each note that is played. Notice if I play three notes in succession, you can see the three grain positions track along the waveform. If you notice jerky motion, that is indicating long hold time or large grain spacing and shows that the loop start is hopping along the waveform. So definitely pay attention to the visualization as you can learn a lot about how the grains are being played. Let's start with the basic controls. The grains section is the most important part in the user interface. Here's where you'll find the controls for how the grains are played. Wave spacing controls how quickly the horizontal position, or playhead if you will, moves through the audio file. It also controls the direction of movement. Values below 50% will start playing from right to left, essentially reversing the audio. Automating this can be a lot of fun, as you can change the direction on the fly. Grain spacing adds silence between individual grains. This affects playback speed too, and creates a compounding effect with wave spacing. That means you need to tweak both to get a smooth result if that is what you're after. The hold time sets how long the grains will be in milliseconds. And attack will ramp up the volume at the beginning of grains to smooth up the transitions. The effect section can spice up what's happening in Fruity Granulizer. Pan will pan alternating grains left and right respectively. Higher values increase stereo separation. Depth sets the amplitude of the LFO applied to the wave spacing value. Yes, that's right. There is an LFO that is constantly running and moving the wave spacing value. Turn the knob right to increase its amplitude. And set its speed using the speed control. The random control randomizes grain playback order. Increase for more chaos. The transient section can either be used to auto-detect transients or use slice information from the sample. When a grain crosses a transient, it's aligned to it and receives a new length determined by the extra hold control here. This gives better quality when stretching certain material, like drum loops. In the time section, you can set the wave to loop, hold the current grain, set the sample start position and map note input to various things, like pitch, wave position, and sample start time. And of course, you have access to the full set of familiar channel settings, volume, pitch and filter envelopes in this tab here. OK, now that we've gone over the basic controls, let's see what's actually possible with Fruity Granulizer in a musical setting. It can do a great job of keeping vocals and other sounds in time during BPM automations, for example. We've shown the basic technique in a different video that should pop up on your screen right now. The gist of it is, through the sample start automation, Fruity Granulizer keeps the vocals in time no matter where you start the playback in your tempo automation. Granulizers are also responsible for certain vocal sounds we've become very familiar with. Granulizer. Granulizer. If you're into heavy bass music, Fruity Granulizer is a tool you shouldn't overlook either. 
The sound of small audio grains being played in quick succession has taken the drum and bass scene by storm, for example. And last, but by no means least, transition sound design, meaning rises, impacts and ambiences, heavily benefits from Fruity Granulizer 2. And with that, we hope that this video has given you a taste for granular synthesis and makes a case for not skipping this versatile tool in your production. As always, we'll include relevant video and manual links and the demo projects in the video info. Happy music making!